This is Pex Beginner's Guide of Neo, Chapter 23, Scion of Virtue. Alright, so we start off uh, the game, or mission, I would say. Start off the mission uh, by going behind this rock. Uh, use Catwalk and Supa. And we're just gonna mainly uh, just pass all the enemies here until we get to the boss, who is Sanada Yukimura. Alright, so I'll say more about him later on, but right now, again, just passing through here. And, yeah, I mean, if you notice, like, it's all quiet. <laughs> and, like, everyone's expecting you to come out, but you're, like, pretty much invisible. And you're just passing through them. Uh, I do want to say, careful when going near the dogs, because they can actually sniff you out. And when they howl, your supa disappears and everyone will notice you. So just stay right here. Take a headshot on this guy. As you notice, his health didn't even go down much, which is okay. We're only going to need him to knock him down enough to pass him to get to the checkpoint. And once we did that, we're going to exit out. And we're going to proceed forward, going up the ladder. And we're going to activate our Kekai, and unfortunately we're going to get alerted by the dog. There's no point using the uh, Supa and Catwalk, because uh, again, they can notice your smell when you're near them. And it'll alert a lot, a lot of enemies. So as you see, uh, let's go right here in this corner, and just uh, wait for at least a few seconds till the enemies are gone, disappear. And once within that few seconds, use Catwalk and Supa. And, but unfortunately, someone did see me uh, for a short while. So again, I waited for about a few more seconds. And then I would use Supa once again. And there you go. Now no one has noticed me. Including the ones that was literally right across from me. Alright, so we're going to open this door. And we're going to proceed through. Uh, I just did jogging just to be safe. Uh, there is a general right there as well, so we're going to pass him. We're going to climb down. Uh, but inside here, we are going to get spotted by a ninja general. We're going to activate our Kekai and then just wave dash our way through there. There's going to be a blood mini Oni Omibuzo. There you go. And uh, we're going to just keep wave dashing, also pass the enemies. And we also see another general right here. Again, just keep wave dashing as quickly as possible. Immediately go to the right. Go, go into the corner of the right and quickly get behind here uh, before any of the enemies notice you, including the dog. Uh, catwalk and Supa and just casually jog your way to the next checkpoint, which leads to the boss, Sonata. Alright, so you see another general right here, and then there's a ninja to our right. We're just going to go to the left, go around here, and then get to the checkpoint. Alright, so we're going to be switching uh, Catwalk and uh, Supa. We're still going to be needing them, uh, so keep them in your inventory. Uh, so we're going to switch them with Water and uh, uh, Guardian Spirit Talisman. So in order to have Guardian Spirit Talisman, just uh, take out uh, Kekaj and then equip two Guardian Talismans and put in the shortcut. Alright, so about Sonata. Uh, oh, actually, I forgot. Uh, so we're going to switch our Guardian Spirits to the Atlas Bear for the main, and then for the second one, the Raccoon Dog. Alright, so as I was going to say about Sonata. So Sonata has two Guardian Spirits, the Fire Horse and the Maiden Wind. So basically he's weak against water and lightning base elements. Uh, he will constantly switch Guardian Spirits every time he either loses stamina or uh, gets pinned down. But yeah. Right here, go to your inventory, use Catwalk and Supa, just pass these enemies. Then we get prepared using Kekai, Carnage, cover our dual sword with water because he's going to immediately use his uh, fire living spirit. So we're going to immediately use water. And we're going to skip this cutscene right here. And then as soon as the battle starts, we're going to be using Sloth and Weakness Arm. Uh, I went too close to him, but uh, yeah, be a little uh, farther away where I was and just use Atlas Bear to pin him down. 
and I failed again twice by trying to... I don't know if he was going to come close to me or not. I'm not really sure, but there you go. I pinned him down for a third time. Uh, cross slash and finishing blow and immediately run up the stairs. And uh, all right, now he's going to activate his wind living weapon. So just switch to uh, cover your dual sword with lightning talisman. And we're just going to try making him lower the stairs. Um, and then have him jump down and then attack him using the uh, Atlas Bear and I think yeah I tried using him but he was too quick he jumped up in the air and yeah he attacked and I tried to get him right there with Atlas Bear again uh, it's not doing great with Atlas Bear fortunately what I should have done I should have just used Sloth and again I missed him yeah with his wind living weapon he is too quick so just uh, mine just use it after he attacks not during. That's another good tip. Alright, so again, we're luring him to the stairs. Uh, with the slot, this is going to come in handy now. There you go, we pin him down. And there you go. I'm, now I have no more Guardian Spirit, but that's fine. We're going to cheese him out. Basically, a cheap way of defeating him. So this is pretty much the uh, same strategy. Lure him to the stairs, have him jump down. And then once he jumps down, you're just going to attack him. Uh, I recommend just doing two hits on him and dash back. Doing a full combo will get you punished because he doesn't flinch. So again, we're going to have him lower the stairs, use sloth and weakness, and then hopefully you still have your uh, weapon covered with the elements to his weakness, and uh, hopefully you still have Kekai and Carnage as well, and again, uh, lower him to the stairs. I'm going to conclude it. Lower him to the stairs, make him jump down. Hit him uh, twice, and uh, if you have enough Omeo magic, use as much as possible, and repeat. Alright, and if you have done this correctly, uh, congratulations, you have defeated Sonata Yukimura. Alright, well, he it's not over yet of fighting him. Uh, we are going to fight him in the next mission. Uh, and I have to spoil it because I think my thumbnail is going to spoil it anyway. Uh, we're also going to be fighting uh, Sasuke as well. So, yeah, <laughs> that's going to be on the next mission. But anyway... Um, yeah, uh, as you saw, go to your inventory, check your weapons, check your armor, check your charm, check your weight of the weapon, and if you have any prestige points, use them as much as possible. And uh, as you see, you have acquired the uh, Fire Horse Spirit. So, we're going to go to the shrine. We're gonna go to offering. We're gonna sell our weapons and armor, just to gain more emerita and uh, elixir. Then, uh, in your inventory, if you have any uh, stones or hairlock, use them. Uh, but I believe you just only have like maybe hairlocks. I believe. Uh, then we're gonna go to their skill and go to Kusirigama, and then we are going to unlock. Shadow Strike level 2. Alright. And uh, as you see in that little edit right there, uh, before you go to level up your skill to plus 4, uh, I did some grinding in order to get that. So go to Queen's Eye, uh, get uh, as much Emerita as possible, uh, use the stones in your inventory after completing the mission, and then get to skill plus 4. After that, go to Ready Jutsu, 
we're gonna remove if you have wind talisman equipped remove that along with earth and then replace and then equipped uh, uh, the guardian spirit talisman and on the next video the mission that we're going to is called Sonata's Resolve and the boss that we're fighting once again is Sonata and Sasuke and I hope this video has helped you out.